I was approached by Iqbal Khan, Iki. He said to me uh, over coffee, I'm doing Anthony and Cleopatra with the RSC. I think you should write the music. I was completely blown away by the idea. I was so chuffed. Um, I kept feeling like there must be some catch, you know. Um, maybe they're going to have someone come in last minute and rewrite everything, <laughs> just use one song. But um, it's always been my dream since I was really young to write music for theatre and for film, like for television. Composing music for theatre is worlds apart uh, from writing music for an album. When I write music for my album, it's me, myself and I. In the theatre, <laughs> I am working with the director, I'm working with the actors. Let's not forget the existing material, the play itself. Um, lighting, choreography, costume. There are so many elements that are there before you begin to put pen to paper. Um, so I found that I had to be open in a completely different way and vulnerable in, in a new way. And then, of course, there was, you know, this Shakespearean language that I hadn't heard since school days, year nine. Um, and that was scary in itself because I'd been reading as much as I could, feeling totally alien from the whole thing. Um, feeling like I had no way in. I was like, OK, that bit's that emotion. He sounds a bit cheesed off there. She's horny over here. <laughs> but, but, I, <laughs> but that was about it. So it wasn't until I sat through the read-through that I was like, oh, my goodness, OK. This is a whole story that's a famous story, but it's got this breath. It's wild. It's um, sexy. It's exciting. And it's devastating. And I was like, oh, that's why he wanted my music. I get it. Um, and I couldn't wait to get home and start writing. The music would live somewhere between Miles Davis and Gil Evans' Sketches of Spain and Prince's Purple Rain. Go figure. So I remember the first thing I started with was the opening, um, because I was excited to curtains up. What do you want to hear? You're in Egypt. Ancient Egypt, go. Seeing it come to life is the best process. Problem solving is fun because it's the theatre, so everyone gets their knickers in a twist really quickly. I love that. Because as a, as a musician, typically, we're, we're chilled and relaxed, way too relaxed about everything. So we don't, there's no sense of urgency. I'm not used to that. So it was amazing to watch. It's, it's wonderful and it's exhausting. I've never been that tired, and I've done a lot of shows. But it's um, exhausting in a healthy way, you know? That feeling when everyone's in the pub, or the young people are in the pub, <laughs> the young actors and whoever, at the end of the day, and you all feel like you've done something important um, and together. Um, and there's this feeling of it's a, it's a crescendo right up until press night. My favourite cue is when we enter Rome and the pillars come forward and you hear this um, brass ensemble, which we managed to create with just the two trumpets um, and some tricks.
it feels like we're somewhere else. It's otherworldly. And every time I remember in rehearsal, everyone would turn around and go. <laughs> I got the nod of approval several times. So, yeah, it was sort of a breathtaking moment, especially the first time I saw it. 